All right, welcome guys. I'm so glad to have you with me today. I'm going to try something a little bit different in uh, recording our demonstration for this week, our investigation of mixing, uh, separating out a mixture of sawdust, sand, and iron filings over here. You can see that I have small bowls of each one. I have a beaker full of water. I have a measuring spoon. I have a magnet, a plastic bag, and a spoon for mixing up what I have here. Now, as we just saw in our gizmo, um, you guys made a uh, prediction about what would happen with water, a block of wood, we dropped in this water. Most of you said it would float. Right? That has been our experience. So let's see what happens with this block of water. And sure enough, it floats. Cannot make it sink. So that should give us a hint about what is going to happen with our sawdust. Because we know that the sawdust is just a very small portion of wood. Right? Same substance. It's just going to be a much smaller portion of wood. But we'll have to see what happens on that. Now I'm going to put two teaspoons of each one of these substances into this water and then I'm going to mix it up. One, two of sawdust. Two of the iron filings. Now these iron filings have had a little bit of sawdust mixed in with them from yesterday's experiment, but they should still and you can see the iron filings drops straight through the surface of the water to the bottom. Let's try our sand. Two teaspoons of the sand. And you can see it's dropping through to the bottom as well. All right, now that I've put all three in there, I'm going to stir it up. And I'm going to stir it pretty well, because I want to get this a very well mixed combination of the water and the substances. Now, how could we possibly separate this stuff out? This is our task. Well, one of the ways we can try to do it, because we know the physical property of our iron filings in here. We know one of the properties of the iron filings, so I'm going to start off by the obvious choice of putting a magnet in there to try to get those iron filings out. I'm going to put it inside this baggie so that it will not be a total mess when I pull it out. Otherwise, it might be messier than I would care for it to be. So now I have this magnet inside here. I'm going to stir it up one more time. Now you can also see that a lot of that sawdust is floating on the top, just as our block of wood floated on the top. Now let me come in here with my magnet and let me see what it's going to pick up if it's going to pick something up from the bottom of this mixture. And take a look at how it pulled those iron filings out. Left the water, left the sand, left the sawdust. Let me pull some of this off. I'm going to see if I can even get more of the iron filings because it does not want to let go. And I'm getting more. Once again, the magnetism, the property of the magnetism of those iron filings is making it very easy to separate them out from the mixture. And I'm getting even more. I'm going to try and get most of those out because I want to see if I can separate out the other substances. Because if I get most of the iron filings out, then what I'm going to be left with would be the sand and the sawdust. 
So how would we get the sand and the sawdust out? Now, I've, I've said that we see some of the sawdust is floating here on the top. So I could take a spoon or some kind of another uh, tool of some sort and just scoop that sawdust off the top. The other way that I could do it is to use some sort of filter. Now, I could use this screen here that I pulled out of a coffee maker, and I could pour it through that. I could also use a paper towel as a filter. Use the funnel that came in your science kit, unless you are still waiting on your science kit, which is, which is still possible, and then pour it very slowly. Let me move my iron filings and magnet out of the way. Pour this very slowly into my smaller beaker so that it does not spill out. And you can see the particles of sawdust that it is pulling out of there on that filter. And I'm probably not going to be able to pour the entire thing into here, but I do want us to take a look here at what we are seeing in the filter. This is mostly sawdust that we're picking up on this filter. What we can see left in this container is almost all sand. There's a little bit of sawdust down there. Now you may be saying, well, now wait a second. If the wood block floated, why would any of the wood be down toward the bottom of this? Well, you have to consider the fact, we'll talk later in the year about something called porosity. That is the ability of a substance to be able to soak in. So, for example, this wood might float right now, but if I leave it in the water for days and days and days, it might soak up some of the water into the, into the substance of this wood and then sink down to the bottom as it became more dense. But right now, what we have, we had the iron filings that were separated out by the magnet. We had the wood uh, sawdust that was separated out by the filter. We have the sand that is still at the bottom of this. Now I could pour some of this water off until I had even more pure sand at the bottom of this beaker. So you can see here that you can use various things. I could also have used this filter here. See if I can still pour a little bit off of this just to show you. Let me pour my sand in there. Let's look at what happens when I pour the remainder of this through this last filter here. I'll use a different once again. This is almost pure sand. There's a tiny bit, it looks like, of iron filings in there mixed in. And then down here, in this filter, we have sawdust. Now, there might be a little bit of residue that would come through to the water, which is why both the water in the beaker and the water in this bowl look a little bit cloudy, because some of that sand and residue from the sawdust can still make it through that filter. But you can see here that cleaning something and separating a mixture like this is just a matter of using different tools to see the way that you can make it work. I hope this has been helpful for you and that you enjoyed it. Thanks very much.